well, basically, you're filing a complaint that uh, your vehicle, I think a scooter, was towed by maybe CHP, and uh, two officers from department arrived at the tow um, yard, and there was a, your letter states there's some issues regarding you felt a, uh, a, uh, a theft had occurred because they were charging you for the towing fees. Is kind of what I've gotten out of the letter. Okay, yeah, I remember. Okay. So I'm calling about that. Okay. And uh, so I'm, I read your letter, but um, I'm assuming there's uh, there's some more uh, facts in here um, that, uh, or more facts to the, the incident than just what's uh, in the letter. So uh, my understanding is your um, vehicle was towed. Was, it, was that by CHP? Well, it's... Yeah, it's private property. It was a scooter, and it was towed by our CHP. Initially ordered it okay. impounded. Yes. Okay. And so I guess what is your complaint with the the officer sheriff police department? Well, I had um, went to go pick pick it up, and uh, the uh, it's it te technically the property belongs to my um, wife. Okay. For clarification although I have a power of attorney to represent her. Okay. So uh, the two, op two officers showed up, and I asked to file a uh, complaint for theft of property, and the officer said that he was making a determination that no theft of property had occurred. Okay, so what, what was your complaint? Of, what was the theft of property? The theft of property was that the uh, towing company had uh, taken the private property okay. without my consent. Now, where was the where was the scooter parked? You said it was on private property. It was uh, parked in a um, parking lot of a, a dental office. Okay. But were you riding? How did how did the how the vehicle get towed? Did the, did you get stopped by CHP or? Yes, I was stopped okay. by CHP. Gotcha. Okay. So then, so CHP requested um, the the tow. The tow truck showed up, took the scooter, and that and that is what you're basing the theft on. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, okay. So our officers arrived and told you that it was not a theft. Yes. Okay. And so your complaint is that you you still feel that that a report should have been taken because that was a theft. Well. It's, it would be my um, understanding that if I want, wish to file a complaint that I have the right to file the complaint and that the complaint would then be turned over to the district attorney who would then decide whether they're going to charge the party or not. If, if a law had been violated, that is true. So let's, uh, for an example, let's say uh, penal somebody code. punches you. Penal code 484. Right. No, I understand that. But it's, there was a legal right to tow your vehicle. So just so we're clear, this is from Cornell University Law School, U.S. Code, Title 18, Part 1, Chapter 2, Section 31, Definitions. There we go. Motor vehicle. This is the United States definition of motor vehicle. Number six, the term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways in the transportation of passengers, passengers are people that pay, passengers and property, or property or cargo. And then ten, used for commercial purposes, the terms used for commercial purposes means the carriage of persons, and once again there's that name persons, or property for any fair fee, rate, hire, or other consideration. Now did you get paid when you drove to work this morning, or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertaking intended for profit? So it has to be a commercial purpose. Okay, so here we are, the 2008 vehicle code. And we turn to definitions 15 to 10 okay so when we look over here to where it says in the absence of a federal definition existing definitions under this code shall apply 
Okay? So that means if there's a federal definition, it's superior to the vehicle code's definition. So we go back to the federal definition, and we say that the motor vehicle is a commercial vehicle, right? It has to be used for commercial purposes. Okay, here's the vehicle code's definition of person, number 470. Person includes a natural person, firm, co-partnership, association, limited liability company, or corporation. Now, let's you, the only word there that could possibly be a man or a woman would be natural person. But then let's just use the word, since person means, includes means, it, it has to be one of the following. Okay, it excludes everything else. So, person means corporation, right? So, let's just change the word corporation for natural person and just call it natural corporation. Does that make any sense to anybody? A natural corporation? And do we notice that all of those terms are legal fictions? A firm, a corporation, association, limited liability. Now, only a lawyer would be stupid enough to believe that a corporation could drive a car or operate a motor vehicle. I mean, can a corporation with no hands or feet or mind or eyes, can a corporation drive a car? And if a corporation can't drive a car and a limited liability company can't drive a car and an association or a co-partnership firm can't drive a car, why don't they just say person means man or woman over 18? They can't do that because, really, the problem is is that the person is a legal fiction. And a legal fiction can't steer their private property, their private conveyance. They can't do it. It's an impossibility. And yet, they would have you believe that a corporation can operate a motor vehicle. Well, that's a, that's a determination made by who? Okay, well... I don't have the tow sheet in front of me. What was, were you, did you have a license? Uh, I do not have a California driver's license. Okay, and so they, the vehicle was towed. You were driving the vehicle. The vehicle was towed by CHP. Well, first of all, you keep calling it a vehicle, but it's not a vehicle. It's, yes, it is. It's private property. No, it's a vehicle. It's private property. You and I can argue all day long. It's a vehicle. Well, you're, you you're, agree with that or not? you're, you're making a legal vehicle. determination that it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. So, um, to make you happy, your private property, the vehicle, was taken by tow truck author or authorized by CHP because you were driving without a license. Is that correct? Well, I'm assuming that that's what happened. You're assuming. Okay. No one told you anything? What did the CHP officers tell you? Well, it was my impression that Officer Powers was requesting that the tow company come Although technically what he did was he called another officer, another CHP, okay. and the other CHP apparently authorized the impounding. Okay. But it was at his direction. Okay. And at that point, Empire Tow showed up. Okay. And so they, and they towed your vehicle? They towed my private property. Well, I haven't seen anything that states they have a right to tow. Okay. Have you have you reviewed the vehicle code at all? Well, I've reviewed the Constitution. Okay. Have you reviewed the vehicle code? I have a copy. Okay. Well, it, it talks about vehicle tows in there. What what number specifically? Well, you probably have to start at the beginning to get definitions because it sounds like you're you want all the definitions. So you might want to start at the beginning and look at the definitions, and then if you go into the uh, 2200 sections, you'll start looking, you'll see codes in there, because there are numerous sections regarding uh, vehicles being towed. Right, but they all relate to vehicles, they don't relate to private property. Okay, well, okay, so... And I have the legal definition of vehicle, if you'd like it. No, I'm good. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the officers gave you the proper information uh, based on our policies and laws. Um, 
so they didn't violate anything. Well, they, no, they, they made a legal determination. They had no right. There, there was no reason to take a report because there was no theft. Well, they're making a legal determination of that. They're following law and policy, and there was no there was no theft. So they're not going to take a report to send to the district attorney's office for your um, for your private property, the vehicle being towed by CHP pursuant to the vehicle code. Are you an officer? I am. So what was your name again? Uh, and the number? My number? Yeah. Uh, phone number or badge number? Or oh, what you badge for? number. Um, oh. Wow, how do you get such an early number? I've been around a while. <laughs> okay, well... So I think, I think you and I are probably just going to disagree, um, and that's okay. Um, if, you, if you have a beef of whether the, your private property should have been towed, that would go through CHP. Um, but as far as our officers are concerned, um, the information they provided was correct. Well, the party that did the towing is situated in the city, so you would have jurisdiction over that. Well, yeah, and that's why, that's why we were called, because the incident was occurring at the tow yard, which is, in fact, in, uh, in a few... And the private property was taken within... Okay. It was, again, we're going to disagree. Um, it was lawfully towed by CHP, um, and so there is no, there was no criminal act. Well, that, once again, that's a legal determination. Okay. And you're the police, you're not the lawyers. You're right, I'm not a lawyer. Okay, so how is it that you can make a legal determination? I am basing it on the, the, the penal code and the vehicle code. Well, can you cite them? I can look them up. Okay. W would you do me a favor? I'll see if I can. And look them up and send me a letter signed stating what you stated in the phone call. I'm not going to do that. Why is that? Well, because, sir, you really don't have a complaint. I mean, you, you can complain all you want. Okay. But well, there's I, you, no basis for the complaint. Well, you took an oath of office, right? Okay. You are going to disagree. You and I are going to disagree. We are not going to see eye to eye on this. I, I get that. I, I completely understand that. Um, so I'm not going to send you a letter. Um, I will, we will send you a letter, as we do with anyone who files a complaint, stating that we have looked into this and we're done. Um, the officers didn't do anything wrong. They provided you the information. Well, I accepted their oath of office, and I'm accepting your oath of office okay. now. And since you took an oath of office to the Constitution of California and the United States, okay. I believe that I have constitutional rights. Okay. And one of the rights I have under the First Amendment is to redress a grievance. So the fact that I have a grievance, I deserve an answer to my grievance. And I'm, I'm giving you one. Well, your, your statement is, is that it's because I said so. <laughs> no, I am saying because I'm, the law is pretty clear. And I don't know if you don't recognize the penal code, if you don't recognize the vehicle code, I'm not sure. Well, actually, the penal code and the vehicle code were never lawfully enacted. Okay, so, so you don't recognize those? No. So then why would I take, why would I, why would we take a criminal report based on 44 of the, of the penal code, which you stated in your letter, if you don't even recognize the penal code? Well, because, So I, well, well, can I explain it to you? Sure, that'd be great. I'd like to have an understanding. Okay. Um, all of the people who are employees of the state uh -huh. have taken an oath of office to the state. Yes. And they are bound by the public policy of the state. Is that correct? Sure. Okay. I have not taken an oath of office, and I don't have any contract to be bound by the um, public policy of the state. Okay. So you can see where, do you start to get it that I can have you enforce the laws that you have taken an oath to enforce, Okay. but at the same time, they don't necessarily apply to me. Whereas the tow company, being a commercial entity that has a contract to tow, uh -huh. ha is um, obligated to, um, by its contract, to honor the uh, policy, you see. Okay. So I'm not trying to enforce it against a private party. 
I'm trying to enforce it against a, uh, a public entity. The okay. But no law has been violated. Well. So why would we take a report? So you are addressing your grievance. You, the police officers came out. You explained to them what was going on. They explained to you. That they made a determination, made without, a determination. without giving any cause whatsoever. Okay. And that no crime had occurred. And so you have addressed your grievance. Just the fact that you don't agree with the response doesn't well, mean that that grievance has not been addressed. Well, you have to have some legitimacy for your response. Right, well, the response is to kick the vehicle code and the, and the appeal code. We followed those laws but that one, were in, enacted by the federal and the state. Once again, I haven't seen any um, proof of claim of that. I haven't seen any evidence of that. You, okay. you, you said you... We have every right to... You can get online if you have a computer or even go to the library and access the computer there and look up California Penal Code and California Vehicle Code and get the information you're looking for. Okay, but you've probably... It's incumbent upon me to provide you that information. I understand, but okay. you have um, also... Uh, in my, con my contesting the Vehicle Code is... Even if you want, wished to use the vehicle code, as I pointed out to you, I have the legal definition of a vehicle, okay. and, um, and my private property does not fit that. So you you don't choose to address that issue, and that's you know if that's you, your prerogative, you know. But you see, as a servant of the people, then you don't really have that option. Number two, you took an oath to the United States Constitution, and it states in there under the Fourth and Fifth Amendments, as I pointed out in my letter that property can't be taken without due process. Okay, here's this out of Black's Law, fourth. Due process of law, as used in the Constitution, cannot mean less than a prosecution or suit instituted and conducted according to the prescribed forms and solemnities for ascertaining guilt or determining the title to property. Now, if you want to argue that the scooter is not property, I think you're going to have a hard time with that. Due process is defined as a court case. So, the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Marbury versus Madison states that it's superior to any legislative act. You won't find anywhere that any court is agreeing that the Constitution isn't superior to any legislative act. So, anything in the vehicle code that is, you know, in... Uh, in contrary to the Constitution, is null and void. Back to its beginning, I can get you case law on that. So have you addressed the, these issues with the uh, California legislator? I have. Okay, and what has been your, what's been the response there? Well, it's... Because you and I are not going to solve this. You and I are not going to be able to change the penal code or the vehicle code. You and mm -hmm. I know that, right? No, but you can take a report. You, no. you, you wouldn't be violating your oath of office by taking a police report. I, I don't believe so. And there's no, there's no basis. To, we don't take reports to take reports. There's no basis to take a report. Well, once again, you're, you're making a legal determination, which okay. is not what your job, your job description is to take reports and enforce the laws. And I'm pointing out my constitutional rights have been okay. violated, and you're making a legal determination that they weren't violated. Okay. There, there's no... You're right. My job is to enforce laws. No and, law has been violated to enforce. But that's a legal determination. Right. I made a legal determination. Okay. So, and, and, and law enforcement officers do that. We... Well, well, no, wait, wait, wait. You're part of the executive branch. Okay. The judiciary does that. All right. So, I, like I said, we're, we're not going to agree. Yeah. Uh, well, it's been it's been fun talking to so you. I, I've enjoyed it. I will um, uh, write up this information that you and I had this conversation of what we talked about. That goes to my boss, and then it goes up the ladder to uh, eventually to the captain. So if anything else, if they believe that anything else needs to uh, to have happen, they will they will let me know. But uh, more than likely, I'm, I'm assuming this is probably uh, a completed issue. Well. Maybe for you, but I will be carrying it on to yeah, you have every right to do that. the city council. And, uh, and yeah, and, and I'm not saying you don't have that right. You have every right to do that. Yes. Okay. Well, have you, have you learned anything? 